Voice for Change, uh, back when all of the media coverage on racism and Black Lives Matter was really peaked, I had two things happen. Um, a great leader that I had served in Memphis sent me a video, a class divided, of a third grade teacher in 1968 who basically told the blue-eyed kids that they were better than the brown-eyed kids. And it left me with one question. Am I part of the problem? And the answer was, I am. And here's how I knew I was part of the problem. A conversation about three days later with my friend Corn Williams created one word, and the word was access. And he explained to me that he and his family had not had access to the people and the places and the resources that they needed access to in order to achieve their full potential. That greatly disturbed me to the point where I decided it's not enough to just not be part of the people that are restricting access. I actually need to shift sides and be part of the people that are promoting access. When I looked back, it's really been my whole life I've been on the other side of racism, on the safe side. The side where people talk about, I don't see why it's a big deal. The side where people talk about, you know, I'm not part of the problem. I'm not restricting anyone's access. I mean, they have equal opportunity in my eyes, but the reality was our eyes were probably closed because they really didn't have equal opportunity. So as I spoke with my black friends and heard how hurting they were, how broken they were from everything that was going on, I realized that I needed to become a voice for change and shift over to the side that helps people actually get the access they need. What gives me great hope for the future is watching our children. We've got five children and they do not see color the way that we did growing up. I'm 56 years young and we saw color the wrong way. We, we saw people of color by color instead of just looking inside at what they bring to the table. And I believe my kids look beyond the color and they actually see people for who they are and what they do and how much fun they bring to their life. And so that gives me great hope for the future. If you are like me and you're coming to the sudden realization that just because you have not been restricting people's access that you've been a good person, it's time to remember that we need to stop just avoiding restricting access and actually promote access for those who need it. Be the change that you want to be.